Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful twist stitch diamond shape super duo earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button if you still haven't. When you do this, you will be inspired often and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself because sometimes I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Like I have a bracelet matching these earrings and I'm linking it here at the eye icon to see and down there in description as well. In description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on Facebook and Instagram. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you want, check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are super duo beads in red color and 11 ounce seed beads in golden and white color. I'm using more beads than you see here. I use 64 of these super duos and much more from these beads, but I will add them later. Okay, here I'm using monofilament. You could use fireline or other beading thread of your choice. These are earring findings in golden color. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle, which is about 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up first are four of these beautiful white beads. Okay, I have four of them and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And here I'm going to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going once then going second time through this loop I've made and pull and then I'm going to do one more knot just like this now I will go through the next white bead okay and now I have this beautiful cross of beads and I will continue adding golden beads Okay, I'm taking one golden and going through the following white. Then I'm taking one more golden, going through the white. And I will do this two more times. Okay, now I have this. And I will go here through this golden. You see what I have now. And I'm going through the first golden. And what I want to take are two golden beads and one super duo bead. And I'm going here through the following golden. Then I take two goldens and one super duo again. And I'm going here in the next golden. And then again. Two goldens, one super duo. Go here. One more time, two goldens, one super duo. And pay attention, go here. In this golden, don't make the mistake to go through the other one that's after that. Okay, now I have this and what I'm doing now is to go through these two golden beads in this direction and I'm taking two golden beads and going through the following red then one red and going through this last golden here 
the, the third golden that's on my way then I'm going to pick up two more goldens go here in the red one then one red go here in the golden and then I take again the same sequence and here at my last step I pay attention because I should go through the third golden bead here in this direction okay just like this and now what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and how I'm doing this I go here through this red one make a loop go once go second time pull then again I will go through some beads and I will repeat this knot okay I'm here making a loop going like this and you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready take your scissors and cut your thread from both sides okay guys and now i'm going to repeat this process three more time if you forgot how i'm doing it rewind the video do this three more times and i'll be back okay guys and when i repeated those steps three more times this is what i have i have these beautiful four elements and now i'm going to connect them together first i'm taking a new thread on my needle which is again about two feet of thread it should be enough and i want to attach this thread to this element okay how i do this i go here and what I want to do is make a knot okay just like this making a loop and a knot and I will go in this direction exiting out of this golden bead and now I'm going to cut this tail thread you could repeat this knot several times if you're not sure it's all tight and secure okay now I'm going to take one of my other elements and I'm going to position it like that one of the super duos should meet this golden bead and these golden beads should meet the other super duo okay this is what I have now and now in my next step sorry in my next step I want to go through this super duo you see I'm exiting out of the golden bead and then back through the uh, through this super do and then again back through the golden bead okay and I will reinforce this joint one more time okay then in my next step what I want to do is find a way to exit here and connect this golden bead to this red super duo. Okay, and I'm finally here at this golden. and I'm going to connect it to this red one now guys what I want to do is reach here okay and now I'm here I went through all of those bits and exited here off camera and now what I want to do is connect this 
red bead with this golden okay and I'm doing the same thing okay and you could reinforce as well now in my next step i want to exit here and now again i'm connecting a golden with a red one here is what I do. Okay, now I have this. Okay guys, and off camera I will be zigzagging like this and I will go out of this golden bead. Okay, I'll do this and I'll be back. Okay, and after zigzagging of camera, I'm here. I just didn't want to make this video too long. That is why I'm doing some steps off camera. And now what I want to do is attach this red bead to this one. Okay, how I do this, I'm going like this. Okay, reinforcing this one. I showed you this time the zigzagging through the beads it is the same thing all the time and now what I want to do is connect this golden to this red that's sticking out like I did in my previous steps okay and now in my last step I want to exit here at this golden like that here and I want to attach my earring finding and in order to attach my earring finding I'm picking up four golden beads then I'm taking my earring finding and I'm going to pick up four more golden beads okay this is what I have and now as I'm exiting here through this golden, I'm going here in this one. And now I'm going to reinforce. Okay guys and now my earring is ready what I need to do is make a knot and cut my thread and I do this by making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull And then I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread. Now my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my diamond shaped twist stitch earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe but also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, like the mentioned bracelet that I have here at the eye icon and down there in description. 
In description, you will find the full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye for me.